How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massive Beer Reviews back with yet another review. A little bit of collab. Hopeful goodness. In the form of Ecliptic Brewing and Brooklyn Brewing. It is their Tangerine Farmhouse Ale. Five years, five beers. Uh, yeah, Ecliptic, I've done my fair share of their beers. Brooklyn, I've done my fair share. It's been a while since I've actually had one of their beers. But this one actually comes from Ecliptic. They actually send stuff off quite often. And I'm intrigued at this one because, you know, Ecliptic is very hit or miss for me, um, for my personal tastes, much the same as Brooklyn Brewing. Um, and when I think of Brooklyn and I think of Ecliptic, probably one of the last styles I really think of is a farmhouse ale, especially a fruited one. So it's going to be really kind of cool to kind of dive into this. Uh, what does it have in here? Cosmic Collaboration, Ecliptic Brewing, and Brooklyn Brewing Company, uh, Five Years, Five Beers, Tangerine Farmhouse Ale. On the back here, it says, uh, in celebration of our fifth year of passage through this awesome star system we call home, we're teaming up with five esteemed breweries uh, to brew five beers of co cosmic significance. Space can feel a bit lonely, so here's to making the journey with friends brewed with Brooklyn brewmaster Garrett Oliver. So, yeah. Um, label wise, it's all right. You know, it's kind of dudes in spacesuits floating around. What are you going to do? Classic. I guess you would say classic for Ecliptic. They're 500 milliliter bottles. Pretty much what they do all their beers in. So we'll see what this sucker has to offer. Give it a pour. So you're talking about a farmhouse ale. You're talking about Saison. Uh, you're talking about something that's going to part a bit of spiciness. Um, a little bit of malt character. Definitely some yeast character in there. Um, and can, uh, you know, kind of go in a couple different directions combined with tangerine. So uh, how's it going to come off tangerine wise? It's going to be a lot of kind of uh, hop tangerininess, a bit of fruitiness, maybe, and a bit of tartiness. We don't know. Tartness, not tartiness. It's not late for, for school. Anyway, man, burps. It, it, it's a bit darker than what you'd expect from like a farmhouse, a farmhouse ale or a season. It comes off a little bit more kind of like a rich, deep, dark kind of double IPA. I did not read the ABV on here. It's 8%. Holy shit. I didn't think, I didn't even bother to look at the ABV. I saw farmhouse ale. I'm like, ah, it's going to be like, you know, I don't know, 5 6%. So 8%. So it definitely looks like a hazy double IPA from a distance. Let's see what the nose has. Well, that tangerine is crazy. Yeah, the tangerine comes off very vibrant, very big. It's not super synthetic, but it's not f like real kind of squeezed tangerine either. It comes off like something I can't think of. Maybe like a gummy candy kind of tangerine. You remember those peach rings? You had those kind of ghetto-ass candies. You'd go to that like really... Uh, super ghetto gift shop, you know, gift shop where it's like S-H-O-P-P-E shop. Uh, when you, your parents drug you, see, millennials aren't going to get this shit. When your parents drug you to like the Pocono Mountains or some bullshit like that resort and you've got those kind of penny candies in a pouch where it had that red kind of top to it and that really ghetto cellophane bag that once you tore into it just kind of exploded and shit went everywhere and you got those peach rings out of it. It's kind of like that, but tangerine. That's not a negative. Um, I'm not really getting much else off it. I could be getting a little bit of fruitiness off the yeast itself. Can't really get there because of that tangerine. There is a soft spiciness, albeit generic. It's skewing more sweet than bitter. But um, I guess it's, you know, Saison farmhousey. Let's dive in, see what she tastes like. Cheers. Okay. So... Hmm. That's interesting. It's weird because I'm getting tangerine on a couple different levels. I'm getting that peach ring tangerine, which I talked way too much about. But I'm also getting a fresh tangerine. So I'm getting this like acidic component to it, almost like a citric acid in a fun way. There's a little bit of soft kind of wheat graininess to the malt bill. I find it interesting. Let's put it that way. It does come off a little bit synthetic to me. A little bit kind of forced. And that's kind of a bummer. Um, because I want this kind of vibrance of flavor, but from a more kind of natural kind of organic front. Whereas this one comes off a little bit kind of added, like, um, what do they call that? 
not like tincture, but kind of that kind of um, God spacing. The words are hard sometimes. Um, that kind of uh, the pre like um, you know, a sculpting uses it for the grapefruit. It's basically the same thing they put in like. Um, uh, kids vitamins to give them flavor that's what the beer industry uses a lot of times for their kind of additive flavors and a lot of their beers and it kind of is coming off that way a little bit there is that soft acidity that tangerine which actually comes off kind of fun um in a citric way but other than that i mean it's pretty dominating and there's a soft kind of syntheticness to it that keeps it from being like just a plain Jane straight up kind of fruitiness. That's pretty much it. And here's the thing. There's a, a decent amount of spicy pepperiness to the beer. There's a little bit of that kind of grainy malt bill to it. But it's all um, eclipsed. Oh, see what I did there? Um, by that just big, huge tangerine component that does come off semi-synthetic. So it just kind of jumps to shark a little, little bit for me. Is it a bad beer? Is it a negative beer? Is it a horrible beer? No, not by any stretch of the imagination. It just tastes like a kind of beefed up kind of uh, saison with a added kind of tincture of um, semi-synthetic kind of, you know, fruitiness to it as opposed to um, legit realness, for lack of better terminology. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's not negative. Uh, this beer will probably get drank. I want to kind of see how it changes over over about an hour or so, but it just kind of misses the mark a little bit for me. So let's talk about it. It's one of the better uh, farmhouse ales that I've had uh, as of late, fruited or otherwise, not really. Valued availability, don't know, Ecliptic stuff, they do get kind of East Coast distro, but not by me, but I'm lucky enough to have them sent off to me, so take that for what, what it's worth, and leave you with, if you like what, well, you like this beer, if you like tangerine, you like it in spades, because that's where you're getting here, there is a beer to be had, but that flavor component is bigger than the beer, so it just comes off a little bit forced, a little bit synthetic. Uh, it's not overtly bad. It's not like crazy over the top, you're drinking non-beer, but it, it, since it is the dominant kind of flavor profile in there it just comes off a little bit forced so there you go another review in the books hopefully you guys enjoyed it down there if you want to talk about it massive beers if you want to check me out doing the social media stuff beer massive if you want to check me out doing the whole podcasting thing and hopefully you guys enjoyed the review hopefully enjoying this little uh collaboration beer right now and hope to see you next time cheers <laughs>